and we're going to try and gather a million people together from Yom Kippur to pray for one hour, and we'll tell you more about that in a minute. Good to be here, particularly on this occasion of mobilizing believers around the world to stand together on Yom Kippur, uh, to cry out to the Lord for a, a visitation of power upon the Jewish people across the world, not just in Jerusalem, but across the world. Okay, Mike, take us there. What's going to happen September 25th when we take the time as Israel is commemorating Yom Kippur that we are mobilized as the body of Christ around the world to pray for Israel? Mike, tell us. Yes, well, I really appreciate this feast. I mean, that God thousands of years ago set it in motion, of course, throughout history, but for such a time as this, because millions of Jewish people, they are posturing themselves in a place to hear God. They're making themselves vulnerable to the Holy Spirit, whether they know it or not. And then we've got a million believers around the world crying out for a visitation of, of the Spirit upon these hearts that are going, Lord, we don't know all this and that. We're not sure, but we're trying to do something with you. And they've opened their heart. What happened, many of you were so involved and you guys were so supportive of this that in May uh, 2023, the Isaiah 62 fast for 21 days, 5 million Gentile believers uh, committed to pray one hour a day for 21 days through the month of May and 12,000 ministries signed up to do this. I mean, they literally put their information on the Isaiah 62 website. And that website is only a mobilizing website for Israel prayer. It's not a conference website. It's not a book website. It's not a come and hear us website. It's here's the people that will mobilize people in their geographic area for prayer for Israel. Would you, you five million, would a million of you, of course we'll take five million. <laughs> We're asking a million of you for one hour, 21 days, one hour on Yom Kippur, around the world, whatever time frame you want. We're going to host a prayer meeting here in the International House of Prayer in Kansas City, together with God TV. We're hosting it together just for one hour. The ultimate end time revival is contingent on a Jewish awakening. I don't have time to go, go through Romans 11, but Paul seems to say that if Israel rejecting the gospel caused the book of Acts revival, Israel accepting the gospel will cause a greater riches revival, greater than the book of Acts. So what are we gonna do? Here's the practical stuff. You're, it's probably already on your screen. Just go to god.tv slash pray for Israel. And this information will also be at the Isaiah62.com uh, website. And we're going to meet for one hour. Again, you can do it any hour you want on September 25th or even in the evening of September 24th. The revival in the nations and the Gentiles is deeply related biblically to the nations praying for Israel. A lot did not know that. They thought if they pray for their nation, revival will come and it will a bit. There is a biblical connection. They pray for Jerusalem, for Israel. It touches Israel. It comes back on their city and their nation. Get, we found in this Isaiah 62 fast, scores of people, twos and threes met in homes. Mm. Twos and threes even met in cars with their cell phone. They met in dorm rooms. You know, some of them met in the church foyer. Some of them met in the church office. Some of them met in the marketplace. You know, the, the lady said, I'm calling my team in the marketplace. Five of us, we're gonna pray in our day. Ron, just a couple of seconds before we end today. Yeah, I just feel prophetically that Yeshua is speaking to us, to the body of Messiah worldwide, and he's saying the Jewish people gave you the gospel. Can you give me one hour to pray for my physical brothers and sisters? Could you tarry with me one hour to pray for revival in Israel? We have received this amazing salvation, and I really believe that Jesus is calling us now to give one hour to pray for his physical brothers and sisters, Israel, to get the gospel.